welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my weekly melting basket video for you. This week I'm choosing to melt Sassy Girl Aroma only for my melting basket because I have four or five outstanding orders with Sassy Girl Aroma and I'm just trying to get through and so I can have room to move those four orders in when they come in. I think it's actually five. I don't know, but they're all kind of huge orders. So, anywho, I decided in light of that information, I'm going to just try to get through some Sassy Girl Aroma this week. And some of these, spoiler alert, are rollovers from the last, like, week or two because we were on, like, we went away for fall break for a week and then my family's been sick, my kids have had RSV, and it's kind of like wave two of that this week, so... I haven't been melting like I should. Um, I've been in full mommy mode. So some of these will be repeats from the other melting basket videos. And I apologize for that. But anywho, I will link Sassy Girl Aroma in the description box below as well as the Facebook group with all the information. And let's just hop right into what I'm planning to melt this week. So some of the repeats are pumpkin creamer, a cozy creamy blend of cashew creamer, pumpkin puree, brown sugar, and a sprinkle of nutmeg powder. Now I did warm this, I think one day last week or the week before, and so I really love it. It smells so good on cold, and honestly even better on warm. It is so creamy, pumpkin, just perfection, and I really like it, so I hope to use this up this week. Next is Five Little Pumpkins, which is pumpkins, pecans, waffle, vanilla bean noel, and sugar cookies. I did not get to this last week, so hoping to at least put a dent in this because it is just pumpkin, pecan, waffle, blend perfection. I love it so much. And then the last, like, repeat is Fall Bakery from Sassy Girl. It's zucchini bread, pumpkin, cookies, and apple pie. I did melt this uh, for a day in my open concept, and when I say this smells so good, it performed so very well, and I'm so excited to get through the rest of this because this is a beautiful fall bakery blend. Okay, and then for some newer things, um, I don't know if I'll get through either one of these bags of blocks, but I want to at least start, um, and they're very similar. The first one is I'll Get By, which is birthday zucchini bread cupcakes at Tiffany's. So I'm assuming birthday cake zucchini bread and cupcakes at Tiffany's. And this blend is so pretty. It's just like bakery heaven. It smells so good. You get all three notes. Birthday cake, zucchini bread. And cupcakes at Tiffany's and it's just a beautiful bakery blend you guys like if you like all three of those notes when the mix together is just beautiful and then this one is I'll get by with bread so all of those notes plus cornbread so it's cornbread birthday cake zucchini bread and cupcakes at Tiffany's so very similar but with that cornbread note it's just it's so, so good. It's like the cornbread is not as sweet. So this blend is like more bready, obviously, but it still has the sweet bakery notes and it just gives it a little something extra. Honestly, I love both of them and they're both just amazing bakery blends. Okay. And the rest of these are brittles. So who knows if I'll be able to get through these, but I'm really going to try. Okay. So the first one is strawberry white cake, which is strawberries baked in a fluffy white cake. Her brittles, if you've never tried Sassy Girl, they are just stunningly beautiful. And this smells so, so good. Honestly, strawberry white cake is hit or miss for me with different vendors. Sometimes it's just too much, like it's too sweet of a note, but hers is just, this is what everybody's strawberry white cakes just smell like. Honestly, it's like kind of reminiscent of Birdie's, 
strawberry white cake and it's just so, so good. So can't wait to melt this. Next up is one that I've melted a few times before. It's a favorite. I absolutely love this. It is pistachio zucchini waffle cone, which is pistachio, marshmallow, zucchini, and vanilla waffle cone. This blend is to die for. It is so very good. If you love pistachio, it's just, I mean, it's pistachio and zucchini bread. Like, what more could you ask for in a blend? Like, it's just so good. And then the vanilla waffle cone and marshmallow just sweeten it and smooth it out. And it's just, this blend is such a good performer. Like, it throws and throws for hours, like, all day long. I want to say I melted it for, like, two or three days. It was so good. Because, like, I know I want to change up my wax, but I'm like, it's wasting it because it still has scent left. So, okay. Next up is another favorite from Sassy Girl, Green Machine. It's another pistachio blend. It's pistachio, sugar cookies, zucchini, and marshmallow. This blend is another favorite. It's a very popular pistachio blend. And it is so, so good. It's different. It's not as sweet. The sugar cookies really give it a rich element and then the waffle cone and the other kind of sweetens it up even more but this one with the sugar cookies it's just a rich like savory very decadent pistachio bakery it's so 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 good and it performs super well as well next up we have audrey mays in the kitchen which is strawberry pound cake cookies twinkies birthday cake vanilla fudge butter and marshmallow This is so so good i get the the strawberry pound cake and then all of the other like cakey bakery notes kind of tone down the strawberry pound cake it's just a really nice strawberry bakery without being too strawberry if that makes sense it's like mostly a bakery blend with a hint of strawberry it's really pretty. I'm really excited to see how this performs on warm. Next, we have Harry Potter, which is tea and cakes, blackberry butter and jam cookies, vanilla sugar waffle cone. I love tea and cakes. And yeah, I get the tea and cakes and then the blackberry butter and jam cookies. I get that as well, but the tea and cakes is really like the showstopper here. It smells so, so, so good. Then the vanilla sugar waffle cone with that extra sweetness. This is just really, really pretty. Love, love, love. Next, we have pretzels in the kitchen, which is pretzels, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter. Her in the kitchen is like a really good blend as well. I really love it. Like I know she does like pistachio in the kitchen, pretzels in the kitchen, like different things in the kitchen. And so, um, this one is so good. It's like a salty, doughy pretzel, and then mixed with sweet, savory bakery. It's just, it's so perfect. The In the Kitchen, I'm really, I kind of, I don't know if I have it, but I want to get it by itself because it would be a, just an awesome blender with anything. It smells so good because all of the in the kitchen blends, I always pick them up and they're so good. And then the last one here is October Kiss, which is pumpkin pecan waffle, butter brickle and zucchini bread. I still don't really know what butter brickle is or what the notes are, but I tend to really like it. It seems to give like a creamy richness to blends. So I get the pumpkin pecan waffles and zucchini bread. And then the butter brickle is just like a rich buttery, I mean, note. It smells so, so good. I can't wait to melt this. Okay, so that's everything I have for my Sassy Girl Aroma Melting Basket. What are you melting this week? Let me know down below. I'm still really into the fall blends and it's getting cool here in Alabama, which I'm loving. It's like Definitely the weather where you wear like a coat in the morning and then it's like 75 in the afternoon and then it's like 50s at night. So 
it's always good for us to bring a jacket everywhere. So it's getting cooler, which I love. I'm so tired of the heat. And um, so I'm still like super into the fall blend. So yeah, let me know what you're melting this week down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.